Today you're going to do a little cold water striped bass fishing, uh, fly fishing, striped bass. Um, got some uh, quick tips about flies and uh, really if you haven't tried um, fly fishing for striped bass, especially this time of year, um, you get away from all that banter uh, and uh, get out and fish and it's just another way to do it and really dynamic and the things you learn when you're fly fishing are just uh, incredible uh, so I'll, I'll give it a shot and well, let's get to the night real quick I just want to talk about the size say of the fly you're using right now I'm just having fun that's a 3-0 really full pattern bucktail um, 360 deceiver fly um, throws real sluggish. It's weighted too. Actually, it cuts in the wind. It's a different kind of cast. If you're new, um, whatever works, works. Uh, don't listen to me. But uh, if you're new to fly fishing um, and you find your cast is sluggish and you're just not getting those couple extra feet that you need, those few yards, and your cast isn't smooth, go to a lighter fly. Um, and you will find immediately you use a small that's a size one hook if you, you you should find immediately if you switch over to a from a fly like that to a fly like that you're gonna start picking up some major feet and some good yardage and your casts are gonna be a lot smoother so if you're new just something to try and you, I know the allure to go to that big heavy bulky big fish fly right away is very tempting but uh, get the feel dynamics try that out well I'm gonna get started with the best of both with the bucktail 360 and I grab real quick uh, a felt teaser so Two concepts and one fly. It's a uh, weekend night and a uh, handful of anglers out. And I'm just playing, playing around here with some different kind of flies, different different line. I got a. Uh, working with floating line but I haven't used this one. It's a little lighter line than I would use and uh, having fun with the flies. I got a bunch but right now I am working with you really hit that good. Let's see which way it goes. Here we go. Something different. That's what I'm using. Looks familiar, huh? <laughs> All right. All right, we hit the end of that train. Uh, we gotta wait for the water to start moving again. Those fish were got here. Those fish were in and out. Picked up one. I had one other hit, and they were gone. And uh, I don't know, just uh, getting started. It was a good start. And, We'll have to wait for the next train. So let's see what's happening. I like to use the water tension a lot in my casts. So I work it out. Get that belly of the line out. And then you can let her rip. Oh. I have a bit more line. If you... okay, I'm in. Waiting, in the, waiting in the water, as you can see. And uh, keep in mind when you're fly casting, you are not going to get your best casting distance when you're this deep in the water. To give you an idea of what I mean, especially if you're new to fly fishing and you, you're just trying to give you a couple things, um, if you feel you're not doing things right, just keep in mind when you're waiting and you're down in the water, try throwing a baseball. See how far you can throw that baseball. Guess what? Uh, I don't care if you're Jacob DeGrom. 
you're, you're not going to hit that plate if you're throwing a baseball in the water uh, this low. So your fly cast is the same content. Ooh, there's a spear in there. I haven't seen bait in a while. Actually, I catch fish after I do these bits with the light on and throws a bait. But uh, try throwing a baseball with uh, chest high in the water. See how far you throw that ball. Uh, it's not going very far. Same idea is going on with your fly line. So keep that in mind. Step back. Then try casting. You're going to see you're going to be casting further a lot of times. You're going to get in that same spot. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Um, when uh, If you're new to fly fishing and you're looking, you know, you feel it's just not going right. And you're going to get those tangles and things are going to get messy. And so just uh, bear in mind. Give it, ooh, give it a, uh, give it a little, and uh, we'll get the hang of it. So I've been playing with this here line tonight, and I'm really liking it. It's a little lighter than uh, what I normally would be using. It's a little windier out too tonight, but uh, keep in mind, if you're new, try a heavier line. I always recommend using a heavier line, and uh, probably some kind of sinking line. Um, or at least an intermediate line. It's just going to cut the wind better if you're learning, and uh, you're going to get down definitely better off. I like the floating line. I like the long leaders. I like the sinking line too. I've been using that. But uh, you know, keep in mind, get a little bit heavier line. This is a nine weight rod. This is a eight weight line. Oh, um, I think it could be seven. But uh, keep in mind. If you're going to be using a nine weight, um, which could overall, because you don't know if you're just going to be doing fishing for everything, I'd say get a nine weight and uh, get at least, I would say, a ten weight sinking line, and uh, you're going to be able to play the winds better with that heavier line. And uh, when you get into it, you can get all different kinds of new lines and try all different kinds of things and see what works for you. The certain things I find work for me. Um, I may as well be using a seven foot leader. It's all just as well. You know, and I just like those longer leaders. Um, I just they're gonna give you me those extra yards and uh, kind of have it down. And I have my thoughts on that. That's a whole other topic. We'll talk about that in another day. And uh, but keep in mind, they can you know go up in your line weight. You're gonna get more control, probably more distance because of that control. You're gonna cut the wind and just something to keep in mind if you're new to this sport. Just a plain old deceiver now. Fly fishing. Playing with some new line here. Kind of like it. So I got the plain old buck, uh, bucktail, uh, well yeah bucktail, plain old uh, deceiver fly, loop knot in it, it's a little up down action, not too big on that, and I think it's about a size 2 old buck, and uh, just some bucktail, some hackle feathers, and I like that mylar body, I think there's some polar flash in there too, not the greatest at night, but a little bit of light so if you like uh, striped bass fishing you like angling you like the whole sportsmanship side of the sport of fishing um, really give give fly fishing for striped bass this time you get a chance to keep your season going you make it interesting and it really it's one of my favorite ways to do it even if I'm getting those smaller fish like tonight and whatnot and uh, it's really really fun dynamic way to do it 
We'll give it a try. If you got any questions, just ask. And, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe to the channel or not. And uh, remember always, for sure, good afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are.